Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga optimization problems which is isa sa mga uh, word problems na ginagamitan ng derivatives. So sa first problem, meron daw tayo yung uh, or kailangan natin maghanap ng two positive numbers such that the sum of the first and twice the second is 100 and their product is maximized. So the first equation that we have would be the sum of the first the first and twice the second is 100. So let's say yung x natin yung first number at yung y natin yung second number. So to write the equation of the first statement, the sum which means yung x plus twice the second 2y is equal to 100. So ito yung first equation natin. At yung second equation natin na kailangan natin i-maximize would be the product of the two numbers. So we have x times y maximize. So ang una natin gagawin sa pagkuha ng derivative is i-modify natin yung first equation para makakuha tayo ng uh, one variable. So in this case, i-isolate ko si x. So magkakaroon tayo ng x equal to 100 minus 2y. So yung equation na ito ay gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung derivative ng one variable dito sa second equation natin. So yung function natin na kailangan natin i-derive, let's say ito yung f of x, is equal to x times y. And since dalawa yung variable nga, pwede natin i-replace yung value ng y or ng x into 100 minus 2y times y. So, kukunin nga rin natin yung derivative niya. So, modify muna natin to into 100y minus 2y squared. At ito yung ating function na kukunan natin ang critical number by getting the derivative of this. So, we have 100 minus 4y. So, ang pagkuha ng critical number ay pagkuha ng 0 ng f prime of x. So, in this part right here, kukunin natin yung value ng kukunin x. Kukunin natin yung 0 ng f prime of x. So, we have 100 minus 4y is equal to 0, which is 100 equals 4y divided by 4. So, yung y value natin is equal to 25. Now, ang gagawin natin ngayon is i-verify natin kung magiging maximum yung value ng ating first two or positive yung two numbers natin. So, kailangan natin i-verify using the sign chart. So, at 25, kunin lang natin si f prime of less than 25, let's say 0. At more than 25, let's say f prime of 26. So f prime of 0 natin, since f prime of x natin is 100, 100 minus 4 times 0 is 100, so it's positive yung value. And yung pangalawa naman, 100 minus 4 times 26, we know is going to be negative because 4 times 26 is higher than 100, and if we subtract it, it's going to be a negative number. So we have going up and then going down, so we have max. So we have verified that the first number, which is 25, will give us a maximum value. So pwede na natin kunin yung value ng x using this equation. So kung 25 yung y, yung x value naman natin will be x equals 100 minus 2y, which is x equals 100 minus 2 times 25. x equals 100 minus 50. So x is equal to So yung first or yung two positive numbers natin na hinahanap will be 25 at saka 50. Now yung problem number two naman, um, a gardener wants to make a rectangular enclosure using a, a wall as one side and 120 meter of fencing for the other three sides. Express the area in terms of x and find the value of x that gives the greatest area. So kailangan natin i-illustrate yung ating function. So let's say ito yung fencing na gagamitin natin at ito yung wall. So hindi daw natin kailangan yung wall. So let's say meron tayong um, ito yung ating length at ito yung ating width. So ang limit ng ating constraint is 120 which is yung perimeter 
equal to twice the length plus width. Kasi yung formula ng perimeter is 2W plus 2L. But since kailangan natin ng wall, or hindi natin kailangan ng fencing along the wall, so 2L and 1W lang kailangan natin. At according sa problem, kailangan natin yung area would be the greatest, or yung value ng length and width would give us the greatest area. So, i-maximize. So, tulad ng ginawa natin doon sa first example, yung first equation natin ang makakatulong sa atin para maging one variable yung ating function. Let's say f of x is equal to l times w into a single variable. So, to do this, pwede natin i-isolate si w. So, you have 120 minus 2l is equal to w. So, yung f of x natin ngayon will be changed into uh, yung W natin will become 120 minus 2L kasi na-isolate natin si W. So now, meron tayong one variable. So by so, um, distribution, we have 120L minus 2L squared for our f of x. So to find the critical number, kunin natin yung derivative ng function. So we have 120 minus 4L. So yan yung ating derivative at sa pagkuha ng critical number or critical value equate natin si derivative sa 0 so you have 120 minus 4L equals 0 One, 120 is equal to 4L divide by 4 so L or 120 divided by 4 is going to equal 30. So, 30 will be our length. So, if we verify natin kung magiging maximum siya using our sign chart. So, yung sign chart natin will be at 30. So, we have f prime of less than 30 is 0. More than 30 is, let's say, 31. So, yung 120 minus 4 times 0 will just be positive. So, positive yung value at ito naman would be 120 times 30 or 120 minus 3 times 4 or 31 times 4 which we know will be greater than 120 so this is going to be negative. So, going up, going down, maximized. So, importante na maibikita natin ito para mapakita natin na yung uh, optimization natin is nag-work. So, yung length niya is 30. To find yung width, gagamitin natin tong formula na to. 120 minus 2L equals W. So, 120 minus 2 ice of 30 is the width. So, 120 minus 60 equals W. So, yung ating width is equal to 60. So, yan yung um, area or yung dimension, 30 by 60, na makakapag-produce ng maximum area. So, yung problem number 3, so, is yung poster down natin na kailangan is magkaroon ng area na 180 square inch, wherein yung margin ng bottom ay 1 inch at yung sides naman ay 2 inch or yung May 1 inch margin tayo sa bottom at sa sides at saka 2 inch naman sa top. So, yung ating paper, let's say this is our paper, meron tayong 2 inches here at 1 inch, 1 inch, and 1 inch at the bottom. So, kung ito yung ating uh, gagamitin area, ito yung ating uh, width at ito yung ating length, kung isusulat natin yung ating equation, we'll have L minus 3, at dito naman is L um, width minus 2, kasi 1 inch and 1 inch yung side natin. So, kung um, iaayos natin yung ating equation, yung poster down magkakaroon ng area na 180, so um, yung length times width niya would be equal to 180, 
180 equal to length times width at yung area natin should be maximized. So ito yung gagamitin natin formula L minus 3 and W minus 2 should be maximized. So gagamitin natin yung formula na to, yung first equation para magkaroon tayo ng one variable function. So pwede natin i-isolate si L or si W depending sa inyo. So let's say i-isolate natin si uh, W. So divide by L. So our new equation will be 180 equals W. At ito yung gagamitin natin para kunin yung derivative ng ating function. So we have, let's say, f of x is L minus 3 times W minus 2. Yung W, to change natin sa 120, 180 over L. 180 over L minus 2. So by foiling or multiplying yung equation, pwede natin i-modify C f of x into L times 180 over L. minus 2L minus 3 times 180 over L minus or plus 6. So f of x natin will be 180 minus 2L. 3 times 180 is equal to uh, 360. So this is 360 over L plus 6. So yung f of x natin is 186 minus 2L minus 360L to the negative 1. So ito yung gagamitin natin para sa ating critical number, which is f prime of x equal to 0. So to find f prime of x equal to 0, kunin natin yung derivative niya. So f of x is equal to negative 2 plus 360L to the negative 2. At yung f prime of x natin would be negative 2 plus 360L to the negative 2 equals 0. So we'll have 360 all over L squared equal to 2. So by solving our equation, yung L natin would be 360 all over 2 equals L squared. And 360 divided by 2 is 120. And then take the square root of that. Plus or minus 120 is using the calculator. Square root of 120 is 10.954. 10.954 is the value of L. Now, kailangan lang natin kunin kung matingnan kung sino yung magma-maximize, kung negative ba or positive. Obviously, si positive yung kailangan natin kasi kailangan natin ng positive value ng length. So, we have 10.954. So, we have F prime of 0 at saka F prime of, let's say, 15 because it's greater than 10. So kung f prime of 0 natin, we have um, f prime of x is this equation over here. So we have negative 2 plus 360 all over L squared. So negative 2 plus 360. Um, since magiging undefined, let's choose 1 instead. Of, so 1. So let's choose 1 over here. So we have negative 2 plus 360 is positive value. So this is positive. At yung second naman natin, f prime of 15. So change ko siya sa 1 instead of 0 kasi kung 0 magiging undefined yung ating function. So hindi natin kailangan yung undefined function. And this time, we have negative 2 plus 360 all over 15 squared. So if we solve this out, we know it's going to give us a negative value kasi magiging negative and negative. So we'll have going up, going down, so max. So kung ang L natin is
L natin is 10.954. Yung width natin, which is 180 all over 10.954, is equal to 16. 180 divided by 10.954. 16.432 So yung ating area would be 10.954 by 16.432 So ito yung ating third